open relationship. I was trying not to make this about love. <laughs> okay, so this is going to have something to do with the connection. Okay, so we'll see. No commitment, casual openness. This could be you guys basically dating, you know, just getting to know people, more than one person. That's what it looks like. There's more than one option here. And it's very casual. You could be dating a younger male here. You could be the younger male. This younger male could be really attractive. They may be a lot of fun. Okay. They may be into, they might drive a fancy car. Okay. Or a sporty car or a motorcycle or something. And then we have past life in reverse. Okay. This person could be a karmic. This person could be a karmic. Show me more. And then we have destiny. Interesting. Can you clarify this past life energy? Okay. Clarify this past life energy. Thank you. Mature woman. All right. Mature woman. So we got two people here. There's an age difference between two people. Show me about this past life energy. Long distance relationship. So this could be somebody here that is traveling. They could be from a different country. They could be a different race. And then we have true love. True love. So it looks to me to be, because this, this past life came out in reverse, this younger male could be a karmic or there could be two energies here for you, okay? There's a connection here where one person is karmic and there's another connection here where something is destined, it's true love, okay? It's meant to be, so you're going to be meeting somebody, uh, you'll be dealing with somebody else. What it looks like is you're dealing with somebody else here and there's no commitment. You don't see commitment with this person, male or female, right? And there is an age difference here. Now, I don't know if there's an age difference in between you and the person that you're currently kind of casually seeing um, or there's an age difference in between you and the person that you're meant to meet. OK, somebody here could be a different race, a different age or so a di from a different country of some sort. OK, and this person is a destined partner. True love, honest, pure love, honest connection. So, yeah, you got some options. What are you going to do? <laughs> okay, what are you going to do? Somebody here could have blue eyes or green eyes or hazel eyes or very dark, um, dark, very dark brown eyes. What else do we have here for the collective? Somebody here could have recently gotten their palm red. Astrology transits favors at it favors you at this time. So something significant about your birth chart right now is something that spirit wants you to know. So I don't know, um, you know, where maybe maybe go look and see, look up your birth chart, cafeastrology.com or astrology.com. There's a message there for you. Blood moon in reverse. Begin, beginnings, ending, shadow work, emotional cleansing and reset, spiritual growth, emotional baggage destruction. I feel like you don't have any more baggage and you've already done this work here with this blood moon energy. Ascendant. Yeah. See what I'm saying? You've already done that work. So now you're ascending. Maybe some of y'all are ascending spiritually. This could really just be you maturing and growing. OK, it doesn't have to be spiritual for some of y'all. It is spiritual. And some of you guys, um, it's not. It's just you you growing in the 3D. Uh, first impression, you're something significant about how you look, okay? Or uh, your attitude or like how you dress. You may be somebody that has like a really nice style. You know, you could be very unique. Um, there's an aura, like a white aura or white light around you. Yeah, there's like stars shining here, a lot of gold and a lot of silver. We have snow moon, snow moon. This says transition, low resources, hibernation, embrace change, renewal, cleansing, soul searching, darkness, scarcity, make plans for the future and rest. What's this snow moon energy about? Full moon. Okay, so there's something going on here either with what's going on happening in the, in the moon cycle or you need to go look at your birth chart and see what's significant here for you right now. Like for maybe find out like what your ascending sign is or something. There could be some significance there for you or message 
there's some form of blessing coming in here and spirit is saying that you also need to get rest okay there's something something special about like how you look or your aura or the energy or the vibe that you bring to something and i feel like people are attracted to it right now you're also being called to let go of the past and like i said rest because i feel like you're about to be getting in a time of being busy so spirit wants you to let go of the past recharge your energy rest this is a time of renewal right now because some sort of change is getting ready to happen here there's going to be some releasing maybe you're in this energy of releasing what no longer serves you and that's what's bringing in this blessing and this blossoming abundance okay i just feel like you guys have done so much inner work here you've done a lot of inner work um like i said some of you is spiritual work for others of you it's working in 3d your, your life is making some form of progress right you're growing and expanding this could be growing and expanding a business, growing and expanding in your family, career, whatever it is. Yeah, abundance. Something good is coming in for you guys. Abundance. You're manifesting your something. Your hard work is starting to pay off here. Whatever this is, it's long overdue. So there are some finances are improving for some of you guys. You're finally being rewarded for some hard work that you've been doing. But spirit is also saying, make sure you rest and take a period of, or take advantage of this time of renewal right now because i feel like some some change is getting ready to come out completion yeah completion <clears throat> you're reaching some form of completion to something and like i said you're getting ready to start with a, a new chapter in your life yeah this is good rest see what i'm saying rest just came out in reverse Make sure you're getting some rest, you guys, because I feel like you're about to be busy or maybe you've been overdoing it, working overtime, trying to accomplish some form of goal, whatever it is. Um, make sure also, too, like if you've been resting, you're, you're, you have balance, like you're not in too much hermit mode energy. OK, so if you know you've been in the house and you have been resting, maybe you've been resting too much and too much into hermit mode. Um, I feel like. You have been disconnecting yourself from the world and giving yourself to this literally says you're disconnecting from the world and giving yourself space, um, the space to rest and grow in your awareness of what's real and what's meaningful to you. So if you're e either you're fighting this or you've been doing this too long and spirit is like, OK, come on out, out of that hermit mode. Like you've done a great job. Yeah, good luck. Good luck just fell on top of abundance. You've done a great job here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're manifesting nothing but good luck. This card says your manifestations are, are about to start paying off and they're long overdue for financial rewards. OK, so something you've put your mind to is getting ready to flourish and it's about to go very smoothly for you. Spirit wants you to keep going, keep growing and miracles are getting ready to show up. OK, support, maybe support is coming in for you. Some, someone who's a business partner or someone wants to give you some form of help. It says someone's coming into your life to offer their support and stimulate your personal growth. Their act of kindness will help you see and believe the magic within you. Yeah. You're, you are just literally like growing and glowing up. Okay. And there's somebody getting ready to come in here. I feel like it's destined. This could be this true love person. Look at you dating. I told you, you were going to have multiple options. You're going to, there are going to be some people, something about your appearance right then we say that like your aura your appearance your people find you attractive or there's something unique about your style or that's really attractive that draws people in like queen of wands energy king of wands energy um i just feel like you're getting a lot of communication people are asking for your number you know what i'm saying there's a younger male i believe if you you are resonating as divine feminine i feel like this younger male is the person who's the karmic because we have, the reason I say that is because we have like this mature man here, right? Who I feel like is going to want to communicate with you. So that might be the person who's this true love that has this pure love for you. Let's pull you an angel number. What else do we have for the collective here? Future energy for the collective. 0505 five, unexpected shift divine intervention that's fate that's like the wheel energy sudden challenges i also feel like this includes a sudden change this says love pleasant surprise gut feeling it says 
Um, this number serves as a gentle nudge to pursue whatever interests you the most. It's possible that something could rock your boat, but you'll end up exactly where you belong, which could be in somebody's arms, your dream job or abroad. So maybe you are the one who's traveling long distance or someone here is long distance, whatever this is. I do feel like, you know, something good is getting ready to come in for you and it's involving some form of change. But it's going to require you to release something here and let go of the past and open up a new door, walk through a new door, get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Future energy for the collective. Fives are about change, right? We've got zero, five, zero, five. We also have 1001 spiritual awakening. So you might be experiencing some awakenings and some growth in, in both areas of your life, spiritual and physical, right? The 3D and in the 5D. This is good. New beginnings, personal development, prioritizing your creativity and heading in the right direction. A new phase in a religious or spiritual quest. You're going through a spiritual awakening, which can feel like the dark night of the soul. You're on this path to enlightenment and this too shall pass. So that was that like ascending energy, the rest energy, the full moon, the snow moon, 11, 12, 11, 12. It says great shift. Man, you're experiencing a real big shift here, okay? Whoever I'm talking to, you definitely know you're on this journey of a, like a huge shift in your life. It says personal growth, <laughs> spiritual development, and manifesting goals, oneness, connection, and completion. Another card of completion. First, focus on the positive changes occurring due to your efforts. There's just something that you've been doing. There's so much work that you've been doing on yourself, and it's just you it shows right it shows i feel like you're attracting people who are karmics and you're attracting people who really mean you well who want to support you you know i i like this energy it says uh expand your horizons and permit yourself to try something new so many positive shifts are in store for you the world around you is changing in your favor of your intentions so be mindful of your intentions right now okay Think about where you want to be, where you want to go. Um, will doing this or how how you go about doing something, how that change, will it get you closer to what you intend? If it's yes, then do it, right? Don't be afraid. Give me one more future energy. Thank you. 1717, 17, here we go. Drama alert. Independence, soul mission, alone time. There, Yeah, there's a lot of alone time happening here. It says, take a deep breath and focus inward. You need time to think things over and consider your options. Okay, at this time, you must rely solely on yourself. You might not believe it, but you're heading in the right direction. What appears to be a lull in activity is just a natural part of the process. So remember I was saying earlier, it's like maybe you've been in hermit mode too long. You know, you've definitely been doing this work, I feel like, for a certain time period. This has not been an overnight process at all. I feel like you guys are like ending cycles. You just completed a really a long cycle in something here with this completion. Bottom of the deck literally says endless cycles. I feel like this is you like tired of the drama and just going inward and releasing what doesn't serve you, whether that's people or, you know, that don't mean you well, you know what I'm saying? So good reading, you guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. If you need a, a personal reading, that information is going to be below in the description box. We're going to do a love reading next and see what comes out for you. In this reading, looks like your dating life is going to be actually really good. You're drawing in good people. Just remember that some people are karmic and some people are actually here to help you. They could be your soulmate. They are, they could be a true partnership, whether that's a friendship, a business partnership, or maybe even true love. Somebody here wants to give you your heart, their heart, and multiple people want to take you out. They want to communicate with you. This is multiple dating offers. Can I have your number? Would you like to go out for coffee? You're going to be looking at your phone like, hmm, where do I want to go today? Do I want to go with X, Y, Z? Do I want to go with this person? Yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys later. Bye.